All right, this is a big one. Uh, just part two. I can't even call this part two. I don't know. I mean, it is a week after the Gopher release, which this is quote unquote a dead week. So it isn't much to be done. But I'm gonna talk more about um, uh, the future stuff that they kind of have in mind. I mean, we got some leaks recently that one of the Archangels might be next banner. But it could be a festival exclusive. But just going over, we are getting a bingo for for this week, which is good. Bingos are always good. What is this character? Who's this? Oh, this is this is Frisia, isn't it? <laughs> We're getting a costume for Frisia. Oh wow! I can't read this. And the great cards that the base is not going to translate because it's not a big patch. But I am guessing that that is a costume for Frisia. That's, that's interesting. I mean, Frisia already has the best costume, so she doesn't need a new one. But um, I guess if you want to get more stats for your, for your, you know, super strong Frisia, that can also work. I can get bingo for regular places like a speed dungeon and stuff. So um, just yeah, just regular bingo. I mean, bingos are always probably the best content not content but the best of these things to get uh, rewards kind of thing bingos are always the one that gives the most which is nice um there was bingo and then there's also these costumes for com more commitments because we had got for the other commitments including fraudulent and now we're getting for this um we're getting let me open this up a vampire uh Estorosa, a I don't know the specific name for these, but like Aladdin <laughs> Monspeed. Um I don't know the name. I don't know I have not but this draw looks cool. I I'm definitely copying all these. And then this uh furry Daria. <laughs> they really made their area furry, huh? Just a fur suit and all. Okay. They, uh, they know how to make money. Just attack the furry demographic. They always throw lots of money. Um, yeah, they're all gonna be in the shop. And you're gonna be able to buy them for 30 gems afterwards, I guess. Uh, individual sale period, November, November 5th. But, I mean, these, are, these, these costumes are cool. I definitely am getting all of them. Especially because uh, most of these characters don't have 5 costumes yet. And that'll be nice. Uh, rerun of Lilia costumes. I... Don't be is it only this one? Yeah, okay. I don't believe I have this costume, so I will be getting it. But um, it's just a random rerun. I mean, they should have rerun Shin and Roxy costumes because they literally released a new Shin and Roxy. But, you know, maybe that's just me. They. <laughs> uh, I remember when uh, Shin returned, and then I pulled him a few times because I wanted to max him, and the green Shin. And I couldn't buy his costumes. I was like, okay, when, <laughs> sometime it's gonna come back, right? No, they're not bringing back Shin's costumes, which doesn't make any sense. They literally released a new character. And they're rerunning Gopher's Super Boss, just like they reran um, King a few. What was it? A few months ago at this point. It was quite a while ago. And of course, we're getting a SSR weapon. Um, just like we got last time and no if you already have the costumes once you buy them again you get uh, upgraded uh, upgraded material for costumes which is nice so I mean it's regular stuff from super boss the rewards are always the same you got like the 100 the uh, sorry, the 100 anvils the uh, 35 gems and the the regular super boss stuff I mean it's nice I wish they would increase the difficulty when bringing these, because they just bring them back without an increase on difficulty. I mean, with King, I literally have a video. Um, King, two turns. Literally had a video on beating Super Boss King in two turns. I, I beat him in two turns. On hell. Every time. I beat him in two turns. Literally because then, like... <laughs> You kill Fraugen, or he kills Fraugen, you go sack and he kills Fraugen. Askener one shots phase one, Dariari one shots phase two. So um, I wonder if it's gonna be the same for Gelfer. 
where I'll be able to just to turn him because if they don't increase the difficulty right now most of these good units have you are gear you know new units that weren't scaled for content of this you know this kind of content old content is now available but i mean when it comes to the ranking it doesn't matter um ranking is ranking and whoever can make the most points will always be making the most points no matter what the event is um, yeah, let's talk about some of the, uh, the, le the leaks I had seen real quick. Okay, this is awkward. Um, the leak pit of chat on the leak discord isn't available because they, uh, they always take it off for security reasons, I guess. So I'm just gonna have to talk over what I saw. I like showing it, but it's just not available, I guess. Uh, there was a added more assets for... Uh, the little kid, the little kid Archangel. Let me let me pull him up on game since I can have uh, the images. All right, it's th not not this one. This is the Yari, but um, this guy right here. We are we already can play with him on story, but of course we can't really use him in the game. I hope they change his cards. Um, his cards are okay. Uh, I remember this is the uh, attack lore. And this is uh, the same. Actually, this is the same card as uh, Green Askinner, which is not a bad card. If he has good stats, which this one doesn't at all. Wow, these stats are pretty mediocre. Um, but if he has good stats, the real one that was gonna come out, then we can uh, we can have some uh, a, like a really good unit because graces are big. Um, I forgot what his passive is. I can translate it real quick, but graces are big. With how in you know, the Lucia's grace is, if you use someone in the back, if you use him in the back of someone, then they get his grace. Um, and it's big. So these graces are huge. Depending on what he does, he could be even better than Ludosio. I don't know. Ludosio's passive, in my opinion, is really carries him. Uh, for each buff effect on all allies and enemies, basic stats will increase five percent. Five times max. Okay, that's not bad. That's the same passive as uh, Bleaston. So I think this unit is gonna completely change for the like the actual unit. Um, but yeah, this was what was leaked. That he got some more assets. So this might be the next banning. I don't know. It could be a festival exclusive. The last festival exclusive, of course, was King, and that released like two months ago. They have been making festival exclusives only for celebrations, right? But to be fair, uh, they can make up a celebration anytime they want. The first festival was Miliodas with the 7.7 .7 million dollar celebration, and the second one was Elizabeth with the first anniversary, and the third one was um, King with 20 million dollar celebration. But you know, on global, Miliodas was for half anniversary. And the Elizabeth could be anything else because it will not be anniversary, right? So they could just make up a celebration if they want to. But if they are going to be sticking with big time celebrations, I'd, maybe it won't be uh, so soon. But King released 27th of August, so it, we're closing in on two months, uh, bef um, you know, between his release, and that's right around where they've been keeping festival exclusives two months. Because Miliodas released, I'm looking at the, the thing right here, 26th of March, and then Liz released 28th of May, again, two months, and then um, May, June, July, August, actually, okay, between Liz and King, it was three months, hmm, but, you know, it could be three months again, I actually hope it is, because I want to give people, before, you know, time, this girlfriend that just came out, is like really good, and I don't blame people for using gems on him. Let me just attack with him, uh, in case it is him, just give a look for animations. Yeah, it's pretty neat. So they, he, like, no matter what, he is gonna be a single target in AoE, even if the cards aren't, you know, what the, they're actually gonna be. Just given that they already have the animation for a single target in AoE, you know? Uh, so he definitely will be, not like a buff unit or anything, this guy will be a buff unit. This definitely will be his card. This is the same card as Elizabeth. The shield right here. The same shield as Elizabeth. 
Yeah, this is the animation. So the, the, he already had the animations code and everything. So he definitely will have this attack. All right, let's uh, let's quit, quit here. Oh, let's talk because the gopher that came out with the celebration is literally red gopher but better. So I don't blame people for like using all the older gems and just summoning non-stop for this gopher because he is really good. And just having this really good unit be followed by a festival exclusive two weeks later is just rough, you know? Because, I mean, we had King, just looking at Banish again, we had King, and then after King, we had the KOF celebration, which was a month later. Uh, so you had a month to, like, save. And then you had a month again, no, you didn't have a month, you had three weeks to save for Gelfer. Um... So, you know, it, it's been, like, many good banners in a row. Three good banners in a row is huge. Like, it really is. For how many summons you have to do to really pull, like... If you wanted all four uh, collab units for KOF, you have to summon so much, right? Go for... I mean... If you get lucky, you can pull him, like, here, you know, in, in between the, the milestones. But some people were gonna have to go for the 600 and pick him, you know? So, I don't know. I, I would say, if you still want someone for Gopher, go for it because he's, like, super good. But keep in mind, he's just Red Gopher, just a little bit better. The thing is, he when he when he stacks his passive, you can feel your team just go nuts. But he's the same thing, he just has a rank up, and his second card is... The more I use it the more inconsistent it is to me because, uh, you know, taking off ultimate gauge is something that you want immediately. But he is a delayed take off ultimate gauge, so... You have to predict that you want to take off the, the enemy's ultimate gauge, which is not how it should be. But, um, you know, attack ceiling with Red Gopher is just much more useful, right? But he's still really good. So, again... Um, I don't know. The next unit, if it is the uh, Archangel, I would recommend skipping just for the sake of uh, saying people should only really summon for festival exclusive units. So I hope it is him. Because uh, following Gopher with a really good unit that is like a must summon would not be nice. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching.